then there's me. Abby Peralt is a singer-songwriter born and raised in Hopkinton, Massachusetts, who now lives in Brooklyn, New York. She works as a copywriter by day and a songwriter by night and weekend, creating original music of her own and in collaboration with other artists across genres, such as jazz, soul, folk rap. Abby also professionally writes, records, and produces personalized songs for Songfinch, a company who provides original songs to businesses and individuals who wish to put a sentiment story or a life milestone into song uh, uh, in recounting uh, some experiences of uh, this business Abby noted that one customer responded a song that she had requested uh, in this business for her love when she heard she could not stop crying in a good way and so she is here Today, uh, as she noted in a quote, uh, whether she's singing in her very tiny room in Brooklyn or crafting a chorus to narrate someone else's love story, Abby believes that songs can be powerful tools of human connection. So please welcome Abby Peralt. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. I never get to say that. <laughs> Mom. Um, I'm so happy to be here. And um, yeah, and what, what a program it's been already. Um, I'm very happy to be here back in my hometown. Um, the first song I'm, uh, I'm going to play is one that I wrote. It's kind of a, a love song for a place. And um, this one is about Providence, Rhode Island, which is where I spent four years um, going to school there. And I wrote this when I was coming to realize what an incredible place it was with all these interesting characters. Um, and it's coming, this feature is, is at a bit of a serendipitous time because I'll be returning next week to see uh, some people who I love graduate. And uh, one of the characters that I, I encountered in Providence, who you will not meet in this song, but uh, who, who did give me some graduation advice while I was, while I was at Brown that I will now pass on, <laughs> is uh, a security, a campus security officer told me, on graduation, it's very hot. Make sure you don't have chocolate in your pockets. <laughs> So Baraji will be graduating next week, no chocolate in your pockets, and you'll be okay, and you'll graduate. So this is called Providence. To college kid fool singing college kid blues wearing smiles and no shoes and two the ears in this place has drained the color from my face but put wind in my hair and the jewelry vendor who says he's from Spain starts to pack up his table as it starts to rain and he's made some new jewelry and he found a new wife says it took me 63 years just to know what i like will i unfold with you or grow cold with you or grow old with you oh a providence in a year or two i Remember you the way you want me to Oh, a providence will I, I And the girls who fly in their flocks With their honeycomb locks themselves as they walk and the man who sits
sits on the step, exhales decades of breath, asks for a cigarette. And his body will sit there as his mind races miles, getting high off of other people's flickering smiles. And when honeycomb birds get to fly away south, he'll sit there there with a second hand smiles on his mouth Will I unfold with you or grow cold with you or grow old with you Oh providence in a year or two I remember you the way you want me to Through stories, the people around, or will I, I flow through your rivers, pass through without making a sound? And we were those college kid fools singing college kid blues, wearing smiles and no. forgotten face but I won't forget you this little closer to do some picking. Um, so this is going to be, uh, this is a, a love song that I wrote about a person. <laughs> uh, it was actually, it was in a bit of a, a transition period and we didn't know uh, where we would be the next year or how often we would see each other. I was looking for a job. There's a point of the song in which I say, I've got things to do and <clears throat> by that I mean I need to find a job. So everything was up in the air, but uh, sometimes love endures. You spilling into blue Afternoons were secret in the sun and I search for stories in your eyes They're filled with so much life And quiet wonder And you pulled me in so damn fast I hardly saw the time pass Through our hands in your fingers next to mine Making love and making time For things we hadn't planned Oh, and I know you've got places to be going And you know I've got things I need to do but I'll sing of you for the rest of my life Cause my life is like a song when I'm with you You told me stories of the stars How their molecules are ours We are descendants of the sky so tell me when you are away Will all the light we've made remain Or flicker and fade? Well, I'm no physicist or prophet 
And I don't own a rocket to trace our love across the sky But I'm thinking it's alright I'm thinking that the night just might be kind to you and I Oh, and I know we've got places to be going And you know I've got things I need to do But I'll sing her of you for the rest of my life Cause my life is like a song and I'm with you I will miss your Planting a smile, the scar on your head you got as a child. I'll miss your voice and I'll miss your touch. I guess I'll just miss you so damn much. But I'll wait for a year and wait even more. I guess that your love is. It's worth waiting for ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, and I know we've got places to be going And you know I've got things I need to do But I'll sing her a few for the rest of my life Cause my life is like a song When I'm with you Yes, I'll sing of you For the rest of my life Cause my life is like a song When I'm with you I have time for two more. One of them is quick. Okay. <clears throat> it's been very hot in my tiny, tiny room in Brooklyn, so I thought I would <laughs> sing a song about winter <laughs> to make me forget about the sweat pouring down my face as I'm practicing. <laughs> mm. This is that called Winter Song. <clears throat>
Thank you. Well, this has been this has been so fun, um, and I can't wait to see all the open mics afterwards. Um, I'm going to do one more for you. This is a very, very, very freshly baked song. Um, sorry, no, it says I was like, I need to finish the last line when I get home. Um, but <laughs> this is a uh, this is a song that was inspired after I don't know if anyone has seen the documentary Eagle Huntress. Um, but I was just so taken by the, the girl in this movie. She's a 13-year-old girl um, named Aishal Pan, and she is from a Mongolian family, and for generations, all of the men are the ones who, who train these falcons, these beautiful birds, and <coughs> she, she's told that she has to kind of take on the, the duties of, of what women are supposed to do, but she decides, no, she wants to be a falcon trainer. And so I, I was so taken by, by who she was and this lightness that she carried around with her. She had to climb up this, this mountain and she would like fall through feet of snow and just kind of get up and she'd laugh about it. Mm -hmm. And so I was just very inspired by, by her and thinking a lot about ecofeminism and, and just kind of these, she's a very strong woman character, so. This is a song kind of thinking about her and imagining what it might be like to be a falcon as well, so. <clears throat>
Thank you to my mom. Thank you for HCAM. Um, so today I'll be sharing a poem about something that I've been kind of bad at in my senior year of high school, um, time, time management. Um, and I'm sort, of, I'm sort of writing from the perspective of time and giving my own thoughts about it. So here it goes. I am time, the most important entity and commodity on earth, often taken for granted, wasted aimlessly, innate and boundless in every soul with no past, present, or future of my own. I am real yet imaginary, the beginning yet end to every life, the holder of all good and evil, proceeding without caution, with no particular direction, motive, intention, carrying those who believe in my truth, swiftly leaving others who fail to follow my pace. I'm too slow for those who are impatient, too long for those who suffer, too quick for those who fear, too short for those who embrace life. I often repeat myself, but never retract my steps or expire on my own. I never remember, yet never forget. Can never be fully understood, measured, or viewed. Yet I'm spent, used, and made. Into days, years, eras, periods, decades, centuries, and millenniums. I'm earth, water, air, fire, nature itself. I stay silent yet observe everything. What I do next, nobody will know. What I do not do next, nobody will still ever know. I'm everyone's win and loss, pride, ambition, motivation, and competition. So hold on to me, give to me, and take from me. Don't let me slowly pass by, for once I'm gone, there's nothing left but to cry. Thank you. Crickets are chirping a song of love, moon smiling down from above. A gentle breeze runs through my hair. Honeysuckle perfume fills the air. I feel the heat of the summer night, but not so hot you can't hold me tight. Pour me a cool one and set right down on the old porch swing. Birds are quiet now, they've gone to sleep. And I can hear the little peepers peep. Lightning bugs sparkle as they do their dance. Mother Nature leaves nothing to chance. Temperatures hold in at 72. There's no one here but me and you. Tore me a school one and sat right down on the old porch swing. Mom and Daddy courted here long ago, many happy nights in the candle glow. You and I can make our own memories, stay all night, we'll do as we please. Sooth tell us it's a brand new day, two sleepy people kiss the night away. We'll tell our kids about the love we made on the old porch swing. We'll tell our kids about the love we made on the old porch swing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mulberry trees. Years before our grandparents ever imagined suburbs, Framingham residents had a plan. Grow silkworms in mulberry trees to support local carpet industry. They'd grow in this backyard, one we never knew might become our future before cold winters froze cocooned silkworms. Many years later, 
We admired trees, the umbrella-like branches draped over toddler's sandbox, red berries feeding birds all summer. My stained laundry meant survival. Now we enjoy summer mornings, outdoor breakfasts, and seeing how squirrels run along trees' twisted branches. Future is still ours to imagine, all in tangled backyard vines. Thanks. <laughs>